so this is the DC to DC converter. These are the fast charge relays. A very sizable DC fuse. And this is a uh, capacitor and inductor circuit. Interestingly, the other motor doesn't have this inductor. It just has the the flat plate two flat plates which are a capacitor and this over here is the 110 240 volt charger so J1772 around, here. around the back there up through here so those are the two feeds for the charger and this is the the connector that goes to the battery pack which goes up here through here basically those two there these two go off down here into the uh, compressor and the big question is can we get this to run without without the computer That looks like a fairly major engineering bodge. This mass of wires clearly just controls the charger that comes in from the computer, the VCU. And it goes difficult to know how the hell to get this apart. The cooling plates, that's the cooling plate. There. And then there seems to be a gasket in there. Or down there. Just go to the bowels of the machine. From the battery down into the controller, just down there. I'm going to mark that because they were a real pig to line up when you reconnect them. So happy. Just make a note that the one with the black wire gives the right hand side. No black wire, left hand side. one. So the gold color connector is on the one towards the edge and the silver color connector is the other one towards the inside. 
and this is the one that goes off to the compressor. And the compressor wire goes through that hole with the charger wire goes through that hole and obviously that one's for the main battery connector and I guess this is just for some vent This is a, a T40 Torx. So you remove the blue tab and then with this finger you push hard on the inside down the back allows you to slide that back. Then there's a button here that you have to press in order to get that out. That's what it is. So there's a chance if we take off these black bolts this part might just come off. Look like two connecting bolts. Well, this bit is probably the inverter. It's cooling. This is held on by a whole bunch of 13 mil bolts. T30 security talks. Three connectors, and no doubt for the three phases. Right about 12 inches high, about 20 inches long, and about 19 inches wide. The VIN number 1N4AZ0CP. And here's the car that motor came out of. Hit and rolled, completely totaled. And there's the VIN number matches the engine. So the charger weighs bang on 60 pounds which is quite heavy. 
the inverter dripping fluid everywhere weighs about 33 pounds Okay, about 180. 